Hello and welcome. Today is Tuesday, February 28th. It's 7.01 p.m. This is a meeting of the Darien Architectural Review Board. Uh, I am Elizabeth Geiger, Chairman. Tonight with us, uh, the board members, we have David Humphrey, our Vice Chair, Rebecca Morrison, uh, Sherry Green, um, Leslie McCauley, Anna Janice, Dave Riley, sorry, <laughs> sorry guys, David Riley, and Alex Lopatensky. Uh, we are jumping down our agenda tonight and going into <coughs> new business at ARB number 11, 2023 for Tough Shed, 211 Boston Post Road. Welcome. Uh, introduce your, say your name for the record. Yeah, and my name is Stan, and I'm with Tough Shed. Stan, your last name? Gorski, G-O-R-S-K-I. And tell us what your company is and what you're looking to do, Stan. We're a uh, storage shed and garage uh, building company. We're out of Denver, Colorado. I cover the Connecticut area. You know, we build um, storage sheds, all different sizes and shapes. And <coughs> we are planning to, we want to put a shed at 211 Post Road, which is a mobile gas station there. And they have a area in the back, a storage area, which is uh, has a fencing, <coughs> fencing part and also a brick wall. And it's approximately six feet high. So we're going to be putting a shed directly behind that wall, approximately this size. That's more of a 10 by 12. The one we propose is 12 by 14, but it will look almost just like that. Uh, a wood finish, golden cedar shingles. So it kind of blends in with the uh, background. So it's nice <coughs> the, the height of the door currently the, on these sheds? Yeah, the height of the eight, door is, is uh, approximately uh, seven feet. Okay, so this is about a foot higher than the brick wall that's correctly right. on the site. Yeah, the, uh, the gable, the peak, would be approximately 11 feet to the very top. I like about here. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's behind there? That fence? It, that's um, a storage area. He puts, uh, he's got some old tires back there, a couple dumpsters, and he also uh, has bottled water on skids that he keeps back there for storage. Which way, which way would the, <coughs> the shed be oriented? Well, it could be either way. That's why I wanted to bring it to everybody's attention. <coughs> could do the, um, you know, the gable side facing the street, which is what I uh, originally had in mind for the guy because we were going to put the doors on, on the east side here, a double door, so that he can get in and out with a, a little hand uh, jack to push, push the uh, water skids back and forth. But we can also do it the opposite way. You know, we can put the um, the way the the building is or, uh, set up. You know, the shingles are facing out there. Right. We could do it. We could do it the same way. So it kind of blends right in. So the the stand is going to go to the planning and zoning commission afterwards because it is a is a it's a change, an amendment to a, a proof site plan. Uh, the purpose of the shed is to provide some security for the items that are stored there, as well as some um, order, because uh, right now everything is just thrown in there uh, as an enclosure. Correct. It is pretty visually blocked because this is a like a fence type uh, mesh thing, but then this is the, the brick. So you really are looking at the extra foot or so either horizontally with the roof going away or the peak. Either way, it works in the layout, and then once you approve one look at the other, then I think Stan can go to the planning and zoning and say, well, my shed is going to face that way or that way, and if you're most likely... Is there a site plan available? Huh? Is there a site plan available if you're going to the planning and zoning? I, I didn't come across one yeah. on the... Uh, I don't think you had a site plan. In Not the, here. With the, the uh, planning and zoning, we do. Is it in the PL5? Should be in there, yeah. Uh, yeah I couldn't find, find it. In you can no. see it? No. <coughs> Me neither. Go, this oh, is yeah. The drawing is just going to show the, just the, what just the, the specs of yeah. the construction. Yeah. So, so you have another room. permit number, do you know? Or maybe I can actually do no, a little I, I search. Don't, I don't recall. Well, actually, hold on a second. I'm going to do something here. So Stan, I have another quick question. Oh, looking at, there's not going to be any retail sales what? of the building. It's just purely storage. Storage. Yeah. There. But you're not. It's not a retail. Out of sight, out of mind, really. It's okay. just, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, Riley, you have a question? Uh, I guess just with regards to the planning and zoning review, is it, I assume it complies with all setbacks? Um, Correct. Okay, so you're yeah. not looking for a variance, it's just a no. approval. No, just approval, yep. Do you not have any, uh, do you, the, the plan you do, is it, do you know where it is? Yeah, it's in the file from uh, Michelle. Okay. She's the, no, she's not that one. Yeah, that one. What color is it going to be? It, it's right now. It's a natural wood color. And the roof shingles. The roof shingles are golden cedar. Kind of blends in with the. Do you have other options for those? You could do charcoal, a lighter gray. And what matches the, uh, the the roof of the uh, gas station? Uh, we have a weathered gray, so that would probably match it the best. It's a lighter gray. Kirby, I think I got it. PL twenty three thirty seven is the pending the, planning zoning commission that's application. That's the one I was in. Sorry. So what size shed is this going to be? It's a twelve by fourteen. Twenty three twenty seven. If you look at yeah, um, that's what I have. No. Twenty three what? Thirty seven. Thirty seven. Okay. If you so um, Google two eleven Post Road Darien, you see a picture of the building. Um, <clears throat> knowing full well that. Um, 205 Austin Post Road, which is the old taco place, and everything else on that street orientation is towards the street, and the adjacent um, house that's on, I think it's on, not Birch, but it's something like that, also faces the direction of the street, my gut would be to have it orientate in the same direction as the gas station and make the shut the shingles the same color. Yeah. That seems yeah. to be the yeah. yeah. You're really not going to see much of the shed behind the screen right. wall. No. no so no. just make sure that the orientation yeah. is the same direction. Yeah. I don't have a plan. Uh, do okay. you, so it's, it's does everybody like the color? Do we have other options for the exterior color of the shed? Do you like that? I think it should match as close as possible to the color of the fence. Of the fence. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So yeah we have a brick red color. I was going to bring yeah, so that up. Match, yeah, the yeah. fence yeah. and the roof matches the shingles of the gas station. Yeah. So that would be like a brick red. Well, it's yeah. the fence. I, I mean, I would like a dark. I think they're they're so the brick red. Brick. I, I mean, I, I would like brick. a dark. Dark brown. Dark. I think it would disappear and look better if it was a darker gray. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Just say color to match. Are we yeah, the, the, sure the black fence? I have them outside. Huh? I have them outside in my car. <laughs> <laughs> are are we matching the I could go get them, yeah. The fence the or colors? the brick? What's that? The colors are the same. Yeah. Well, we should only bring that here. Yeah. 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 So this way they can make a decision. Otherwise, sure. you're going to have to read yeah. yeah. some so. Right. Uh, how far is the car? What is that? Dark brown? Right, right, right in front. This way. Yeah. It it could be shady. If you guys want to see colors, he can go and get his color sample chart uh, in his car. You know, looking at the samples without Doesn't looking at the actual fence is something. What I, I would recommend is select to match the screening right. screen yep. screen yep. fence. Yep. The screen fence is somewhat of a dark green type thing, or is the, you know the the gate there, the wooded part, like the picket fence type of to the left where the cone is, mm -hmm. that's the gates where they open up, that's more of a uh, very dark brown. Mm -hmm. Dark brown. Yeah. Okay. And yes. then the brick, brick wall, you know, we have a brick red color that we can match the brick. Brown, yeah, we have like a coffee brown that would look good. Espresso. <laughs> so, I mean, I have those swatches in my car, so. No, just to match existing. Yep. Match as close as possible. Right? Okay, Stan, so the orientation, the same as the, the mobile yeah, yeah. roof line. Okay. Um, the shingles to match as closely as possible, the mobile. Sure. And the siding color to match the brown fence. The brown, the brown, yeah, okay. So yeah. those are the three yeah, caveats. Um, it's part of that. The, hmm? Same direction as the. Same the direction as yep. the. Those versions I said to, to mirror the, the mobile, the line right, of the mobile so roof. The, the, the gutter facing the right. horizontal. There's no gutter on the shed, but you know it's a right. drip edge. It's so, Stan, as far as that, we're going to send you a favorable report with those three conditions to planning and zoning. That those three things line up: the roof, right, shingles, the siding. You need to get a final PDF though with those colors and better pictures back to planning and zoning for us to see though. Okay, a final sure. copy of what you select. 
Okay. So we can review that one more time. Yeah. So you can simply do that with Hervé, send him a PDF, and it'll make sure those files are uploaded in the records right. for us to see. It'll be a computer illustration. It's not going to be a, a regular photo. That's okay. You can, yep. In there, you can, you can write out the exact details. Right. It'll okay. be in there, yeah. Okay. Yep, definitely. Who is your client the, 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 who owns a mobile station? I think he's called Smart Foods. You, do you know the name? Is that's the company? His name is J Jamal. J A M A L is the last name. Okay. Okay. Anything else, guys? No. Okay. So favorable okay. report with that condition. So you're not going to get a letter until we see those final reports. When you do, we're going to give you administrative approval. Okay. Once once the when survey gets those PDFs, but you have sure. our favorable report to go to planning and zoning and tell them. Okay. Fantastic. We supported it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? In that direction. Okay. <coughs> Perfect. I'll have to get it done. Yep. Thank you, Stan. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care. Okay, guys. Jumping back to old business. ARB number 6, 2023. This is Seymour's at uh, Darien Commons on the Heights Road. Uh, gentlemen, if you want to get up, say your names for the record. I want Hi. to know what you got. Hi. Uh, Kevin Kane, owner of Hungwell Science, here to um, continue the Seymour's proposal. Uh, Jay Wainwright, uh, Seymour's owner. Welcome. Okay, so last time we talked, we um, this is a super high profile building, so we scrutinized you guys a little more. We scrutinized all our, all our applicants pretty tough, but um, here we did, it was uh, pretty important to us because this is the keystone, corner keystone for this new development. Um, and part of the condition was that this signage ban is above regulation and it's also the proposal is above the size is above regulation. Um, that said, I think the board, we weren't um, restricted by that, but we just wanted to play out all options that were considered. We want to make sure all options were considered before we moved so, ahead. So where did you guys end up with that? There is a um, page. Right? Oh, there there is a page. page. Okay, so now it's going to be. <coughs> go down to the very bottom if you could. Okay, let's go to um, ARB suggestions. Okay, well, this was the first, I think, one of, one of three suggestions that you, uh, that came up in the last meeting, um, the, the corner. For the wall sign, okay. Yep. Yeah, right. Okay. Do you want to see number two? Number two is the um, eliminating one of the signs and just keeping the Heights Road sign. Okay. And the third one is the center of the two signs over the awning. Okay. Which separates a little bit further from the corner. Okay. And Jay, do you want to talk to us? I know you've got some feelings about that as the owner. Yeah, so, so, and then there's a fourth one, which is what we're... Show us your fourth. One, one okay, so these are the three options that we discussed yeah, okay. to, to consider. It goes back to yeah. the original. Now show us your original, okay? The one that I had, I had on? Yeah. This yeah. one? <coughs> the fish? Right here. That one. Yeah, so I'll try to blow that up a little bit more. Because it takes a... That was the original one you saw. Whoops. That was the original proposal. <coughs> Just uh, trying to print it. And offhand, as he's pulling it up, do you remember the size of the letters of the original that you proposed? Not the original, but... I, I of what you think, proposed last month, these um, letter size. It was maybe 20, was it like 24 maybe? I think the fish was 24 and the, uh, and the lettering was, um, could be 18, but we're proposing 16. Okay. 16 inch letters. And the fish, uh, bring it down a little bit to 21 inches tall. So this is your favorite. Yeah, yeah. So so, the the the, the it's a little different because the, the way that your upon your advice, I think I wasn't here. I'm sorry, but the, there was only the we, the fish were oriented differently, and so now we've put them on either end, and I think it feels really good on the corner the way we've done it. Um, so I think this looks great. I think it's tasteful. Um, I'm interested to talk about side lit versus back lit letters. We. We can talk about that, but in terms of from a communication and a sort of sophisticated, you know, but reasonable communication, I think this is great. And I can go through what I don't love about the other ones. And I'm happy to I'm happy to do that. Kevin, I I like it. I think my question is that in the rendering versus the uh, right. elevation, the okay. fish are one fish is up, one fish is down, one <laughs> fish is closer, one. But you're yeah, you're you're. you're that could be a skewed. Yeah, um, it's just it's not. This is this it's is just what the this more is, accurate. This represents this side. Okay, right. but that's the spacing, and that's where the fish lands within. Yeah, that. correct. Okay, great. 
I like this version better better as well. One thing I do have a question on is like, where's the um, where are you aligning right. one corner and the other corner? It feels kind of arbitrary. You know, it's not lined up with you know the inside or outside edge of the corner pier or an awning. It just is there. You know what I mean? It yeah, is. you can tell by either the awnings being different. We try to bring it close to be center over this awning, and unfortunately. If we keep the same distance, it's not the awnings are different, so it's a little bit different yeah. on that side. So, are you keeping the same dimension in the side <coughs> band on the corner? So it's like correct yeah. twelve inches and twelve inches. Exactly, or, everything's yeah, going to be okay. the same. Yeah, the same distance from the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And does the just I think to Alex's point, does the start? It doesn't look like it. But does the start of the awning from the corner? Does it have the same um, distance between the corner to? Yes, I think yeah. the column awning? is the same size. Yeah, these two here, this one and this one. Yeah, like between yeah. the corner and the side of the awning. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I think it's the same dimension. It yeah, looks that, like it is. That's the same. So then start it on the awning. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I'm thinking too. Start it you want to start this one flush with that, yeah. or and, 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 and the other fish on this on the same place on this one. I can see that. I, so as I a seamorse, seamorse could be centered over this awning. Is that what they're saying? I don't think no, it needs to be centered. No, 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 it starts with the first. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think because this awning here is a different shape. Right. Yeah. I would I would move this so this is lined up there. Yeah. And then this S is lined up on that awning. Agree. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. So the S starts at the side of the awning. Right. So yeah. The, yeah. yeah. And the other S ends on the side of the awning. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, out of curiosity, I asked, I don't know if you have this, Kevin, but um, I was curious to see what the adjacent tenant is on the pedestrian side of this and how their sign lines up. Do you uh, have Yeah, I do have it up there. No way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I haven't yeah. seen that. I'm so it's, sorry. In, it's one of the... Go back. It would be good. North side. Oh, north side. Oh, north side. Oh, got it. He said it, it's not in the Middle East space yet. Oh, I think that's it. Right. So there is no signage there yet at all. Got it. Okay. But okay. the sweet green it sounds so like sweet green is at the end. She is. If you could, if you go this way, you can see sweet greens is all the way off screen there. So the, the other tenants would technically be over those doors, right? They'd be probably centered yeah, over those doors. Can, yeah. Correct. Can you bring the picture this way? Can I bring the picture? Or is it like yeah. the, 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 the problem though here is the trees or are maybe maybe right. some factor, which there's is good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. It breaks it up, so it's not one piece. Yeah, so see where sweet greens Yeah, is. so they'll all be. Uh, well, but sweet green no, sits higher than the other ones. I feel like the I feel like Van Luden is in there, right? Van Luden, right? Luden. Yeah, Van Luden is above the doors. Um, they're above. They're, they're that little white strip where the yeah. guy's walking, right? They have a little eyebrow, and everybody else will. Warby Parker is right above the doors, and that other adjacent the adjacent space to Seymour's will push it up at the doors as well. That's their so whole, it's fun. There's some variety. Yeah. It's like yeah. nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Right. And then Jay, where you put your blade sign, I'll put, I'll make sure that the adjacent tenant has a, you have clear enough for both of you guys for your blade signs. That'd be good. So let's talk about the blade sign. That was one thing we requested to change the size of that. Did, right, it's on that, there. Yeah. Can you guys go review that? The, uh, and then we'll, we'll go, go back, back to, to the uh, the collection. I'm not sure uh, where all where all the images are. No, but go back to. Right there. Right yeah, that's yeah. That gives you an idea. But the um, you can go back to the list. The list of suggestions. Yeah. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, the record. Okay. I always have to close this. Thing. Uh, let's see if I can get the. Um, see if you can get the. See if that'll come. Final blade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's so we, we talked about twenty-four inches. The record we talked about is resizing down to about 24 inches tall. Is that exactly yeah, you know, right. a kind of thing? Okay. And then it's eight feet to the bottom. Yeah, it's over okay. eight feet right here. Yeah, that's our standard. And the next tenant is not going to have their blade sign right there, right? That's no. Not gonna happen. I'll push it to the right. Yeah. And Kevin, that's the all push through stuff, right? On your blade? I think we're going to, we're talking about just mounting acrylic on the face of it instead of cut out. Cut out. Yes, it's white opaque acrylic letters secured with uh, double face tape. 
Do you like the you... last time we talked about the push through? So this is push through. Sweet green. Yeah. I sweet would green rather push I would rather, rather... Have push through because I okay. think it's a richer finish. Than okay, just that's easy. On a panel. That's an easy. I think solution. it's a better look. Yeah. yeah I agree. Okay. Non illuminated. Non illuminated. Everyone's cool with that one? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to lighting, last part of this. So you got one blade sign, two wall signs. Let's talk about lighting for the wall signs. Okay. Go, yeah, go back to the. Uh, so that's. One well, that's one, one uh, example of. Uh, right. Do you want me to go yeah, go back there, see if we can pull up something on there. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Letter specs. Let's see what that. Is. Are you curious on what it'll look like with the? Yeah. With um, the halo. Well, I, I guess maybe this is a little more, at the off record. I think we talked uh, in, in uh, preemptively up to this that you were considering another type of. Yeah, writing. we 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 were going. We we're going to stick with the halo. Sticking with the halo. Yes. Okay. We considered the edge lit, but we're going to um, stay with the halo. Okay. And yeah. then so with sticking with the halo, the the one revision people suggested last time here on the board was bringing the kelvins down to five thousand versus it, the yeah, proposed sixty six. Okay. Great. So when you send me the final version, okay. let's not have it say two inch edge lit. Yeah, sure. I'll switch it back. Switch to the halo. Yeah. So that so that what because I I'd like to have the final official. So there's no confusion. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Thank you. That's a different page. All right, guys. Okay. What do you think? Good. Yeah. Yeah. The fish is also eliminated. Correct. Inside. That's a good question. Thank you. Because it's much thinner. But the fish is solid. It's like a white. There's nothing it? inside of it. It's hollow. Oh. It's just it's a. It's, it's, it's an outline. So it's does the line. does the light follow the yeah. the metal? Is that's nice. that's that thin? Well, it's going to be wide enough to to get okay. the light on there for sure. Okay. All, right. All right. Favorable report. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yay. That's exciting. Can't wait. Like, there's a round of applause. <laughs> 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 Favorable recommendation. Alright, ARB number 7, 2023. This is also old business. It's the Commons main entrance signage that we discussed last month. Did Julie just leave? Julie? What was that? I'm so gonna, sorry. I was gonna, listening. Are you going to present the updated signage, the main signage for the comments? No, that was Patrick. You're going to skip it tonight. Skip it. Hold it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right. This is part of the process. That's the audience. Great. We're moving on. All right. ARB number eight then, starting new business. ARB eight number 2023. This is Granola Bar, 1020 Boston Post Road. Okay, great. Thank you. Sorry guys, I don't think you were coming up. I didn't even bring the computer face. It's the same for everyone. Detail in there. Yes, I, it doesn't matter which one I am. This is terrible. This is just terrible. <laughs> it's great because I can open any of them, but there's no difference between them. One page? No, there we go. Yeah, only if you use one. I'll start to use that. Yeah, that's the point. I know you're how you can do it. You get it all in one time. Why split? Hi, I'm Kate Perez from Baywater. Um, and we have Dana and Julie the founders and owners of Granola Bar. Um, we're so excited to welcome them to the 1020 building. Um, so I think we have a site plan, just so you're familiar with the space. Um, it's the former parlor pizza space. Um, so 
located right here on the 1020 building. Um, so we have a few um, bits of signage proposed facing the walkway here and the driveway. Um, the main entrance will actually be here um, off of the walkway. So this is the door that we're looking at. Um, so Sorry, the design you. is to, oh, it's okay. Uh, the design is to put a wall sign above the main entrance um, and then a blade sign uh, on the post road uh, to give people a sense of, you know, where this is located and kind of a directional sign. Um, and this blade sign is actually on the um, pedestrian walkway that is between 1020 and the new building that's going up today. Okay. Um, so the idea is just to get some post road and pedestrian walkway frontage, you know, in terms of signage to guide people to the right spot. So is it in the corner underneath underneath the um, the breezeway? Is it at the corner there? It's yes. Uh, if you yeah. Pull this one up. Just, well, wait. wait. Right next to the location. <laughs> Sorry. The location. Yep. Yeah. So right next to the breezeway. Is there an um, existing one there? Mm -hmm. There is. There is a 1020 sign. Oh, it's Actually, it's if you click on this one, um, we might be able to see the 1020 sign. Yeah, there's a 1020 sign that's one or two bays uh, away from the breezeway, basically. Um, and the other blade sign is basically located on the south side of the building um, where we'll have this new uh, pocket park. And you know another just kind of pedestrian way to um, to walk around. So that will be the corner of, of the oh that's not the, the ice group. It's on the gopher. It's on the, the gopher. gopher corner. It's on the side of the gopher corner. Yep. Okay. Yep. Do you think people will end up going into gopher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the um, that's I'm right. thinking that. I was looking at this plan. I was like, is that going to create confusion with gopher? Um. If you this one, we might be able to Actually, see when it. you touch it, it works. So oh, no way! Touch, oh! <laughs> 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 oh, this is all the time! Wow! You welcome to your children's world. It's a power trip! A five-year-old can do it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. Stand back up. Yeah. 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 We're not on the gopher side. I don't think we're on the gopher side. Okay. I think when David and I just, I just, yeah, yeah. Just you, when, when, hi, sorry. <laughs> um, when you're standing, gopher, if you're standing looking at the breezeway, go, gopher is to the right. Yeah. This blade sign would be to the left. At the 1020, but there was the second yeah, one. There's another there, one. No, the second one is by the Corbin, the new Corbin side. Oh, which so, will be developed. Which so, will be developed. So, so if we were to, ah, right. So yeah, this no, one, oh no, is, is there two? Oh, sorry, there is two. Yeah, there is two. Okay, sorry. Okay. Right, so we have a blade sign here, a blade sign oh, here. So it would be. That's, it would that's be. the one where we're, we're worried about the gopher confusion. Yeah. Yeah. And I apologize, there's also a blade sign on the parking lot side next to the front door, which makes more sense to get visibility from there. Um, so this is the one I in question of just whether there's... I'm that both kind of confusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, whoops. Yeah, but that's your shoulder. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's, it's a touch I'm sensitive. I'm already with the system. Okay. So, gopher door is here. Um, this is the gopher, like, emergency egress side door. Um, it has to be used to go out to the little park, park right? right? Yeah. Um, so, this is sort of you know, it's sort of in between two of their Can you put doors. it further down? Yeah. We could. If it's a pocket park, could you put it further down? We could put, you know, push it back yeah. further on that facade. We have a couple of egress doors, but no, like, retail frontage onto there where it would be confusing. Um, so we could kind of locate it further back here. This is also... Um, You know, that pocket park is going to be a pretty active pedestrian way once we have people kind of walking down these sidewalks and these sidewalks. So this will get more, a lot more foot traffic than, than what's there today. <coughs> so then couldn't you put it 
You're thinking um, sort of like, correct. yeah. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We could. Mm -hmm. Is there yeah. actually going to be an entrance to uh, Granola Bar on that side or no? That, I think, is just a number. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, there's kitchen access. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. But the closer it is to the Good actual wayfinder. Entrance. It makes yeah. sense. I think it's just too confusing. No arrow inside the side. There's no no pointing arrow or anything. Yeah, we don't part have of the design. Yeah, we don't have an arrow right now. Um, it's sort of a right. simple arrow. vertical. An arrow. No need for an arrow. No. I'm just asking. No, it's a good yeah. question. I think we would sooner 86 the blade sign if there was confusion yeah. than yeah. do it just do it with an arrow. Or is it two arrows? I think for the record, by the way, and I only propose this because it's important, um, for regulation, mm -hmm. I think this building, I don't know, it might allow three, but only two signs are allowed. So we would be accepting two additional signs for these guys, giving them more visibility than anyone else in town. Yeah, you allowed one wall and one blade. Right, mm -hmm. one wall, one blade. First story. So we'd be granting two extra blade signs. I, I want you guys to understand that when someone comes and asks, if, if, if you guys find it appropriate, that's one thing, but if people come and ask why we, why we gave for it all the bar. So it's something to consider. Yes. <laughs> so why are you proposing all those additional signs? Um, you can talk to Kate. Um, no, I, I think we're all <laughs> Kate, take that one. <laughs> no, I, I mean, because, well, personally, I'm a business owner, so I don't know your town regulations. Um, I go for what I think is great for customers to move around. Um, but I think when we were speaking with David and the Baywater team, um, having a singular blade sign is also fine because we are a destination and people tend to know about us and I'm not um, actually afraid of over signage to be honest um, yeah we're, we're comfortable with a blade and a, and a front I really am I'm sorry if that fights the fight <laughs> That's I really am perfectly comfortable with that and I think probably in talking to David too it was a, it was um, just you know kind of to get as much visibility as possible and of course, yeah, yeah, I mean, of course, it's, it's behind. Not, yeah. I mean, Parlor did not necessarily have part. We took over Parlor Pizza, and the traffic wasn't necessarily there. And so, there's a reason for that, right? And so, the Corbin traffic may change that, but that's not now. And so, I think we were proposing something that would be beneficial to the business. Did you look at having yeah. a wall sign on the yeah, long that's facade that's yeah. facing the parking? Yeah. versus the okay. short one and then keep the blade sign near the front door entrance if that's where the entrance wants to be but have something more I think Baywater wanted I mean Baywater can speak up but Baywater I think wanted the signage to be almost identical to what Parlor has mm -hmm. for the integrity of the building and the beauty of the building just to keep it we're basically replacing the Parlor sign with a granola bar sign at the top of the door. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, on um, at the top of the door, the main. I think it's important that you have, sorry, that's an Holly I think it's important <laughs> that you have a blade sign on the um, 1020 facade mm -hmm. down that alleyway. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's also important if it's going to become a pocket park where the ice cream shop is to have one down that area. Mm -hmm. So that's the back door. But it's a, a wayfinder. It's a wayfinder to get to them, and I've never been to your shop, so oh. I might put my kids <laughs> in a ton of times, and I think that that's a people need to know that you're there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's the but idea. Then by the summertime, this is going to change because that those two buildings are going to be occupied by residents too. Right. And there's going to be a lot of activity. So this is off of that middle street, and this is summer. But this whole building gets cut out of the construction site spring, April, May. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all. it turns into a so, bank building, right? Mm -hmm. A residence above, and, and okay. yeah, and a, the apartments. But um, I'm familiar with the space, obviously, yeah. and I think most of us are. And I'm three blade signs seem, seems appropriate given this location and the history of it. Agreed. Thank you. I'm a little concerned with the precedent that we set then to have uh, two wayfinding signs to direct somebody to you know, retail in the back of the building because I think there's you know a number of locations in town where that might be the case. And we, what do we do then with the rest of them? I think the precedent is what four four different businesses in in seven years gets to be exercising. Yeah. <laughs> 
Your what? Four different villages in Turnover. That's the issue. It's we yeah. would like to be there 10 years. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't put a sign up and then I don't know if you want to set, I mean, there's maybe there's caveats to it where in a few years it gets removed. I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to, but I'm trying to be flexible and thoughtful about opening and being successful and having a 10 year lease and um, wanting people to, to know where we are. I, these signs are also, they're pretty close to the wall and tucked in and they're black and white, so they're not visually, I mean, they're not 36 inches off a wall in bright orange, okay. so I think I'm also okay given the signage. I think if they were proposing a different they're size, color, illuminated. aesthetic, yeah. then I would right. also... They're also not illuminated. Yeah. They're, they're not, not illuminated. illuminated. Yeah. And right. The other thing, just to be mindful of, I know the signage regulations are sort of like, the linear feet on a public road, or I think, it, in which case, you know, there is no public road, but if you do the linear square footage of the, you know, perimeter of the space, they're requested, you know, the request is like for a quarter of the allowable sign. Like the sign mm -hmm. sizes are are pretty modest in terms of like, we just call the dimensions. Um, yeah, in terms small. of like, you know, the 15 inches off the building or the 44 by 15, they're pretty, um, they're pretty modest in terms of like if the, if the allowable signage is forty something square feet, it's the proposed is fourteen something. So. It really depends who reviews the zoning permit. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have yeah. a picture of the back of the building on the parking lot side? Um, you know, oh, yeah, the pergola. I don't. I would have love a that. Sure. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. We, I can yeah. walk through yeah. Google Maps. This is better. Oh. Really. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I, got, I have a funny suspicion there's going to be more traffic in the back than the front. Kind of what I was yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sort of like the, the, thing is the is ice cream side side. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? I think that's fine too. Like, if we're going to get rid of this line, that's it's popped up. It's popped up. This, of course, is a terrible they do have a parking lot. Street Views oh, has really? a parking lot side. Interesting. Yeah, it has it. Okay. You zoom in and press. Where am I in Like there on that street right there. There you go. I'm so impressed. Look at that. Jeez. The little person doesn't want to go. Oh, I need a mouse for that. Go ahead. Okay. Maybe there's a good little deal. There is. There should. It's like. You're just going to maybe double click on that street there. That works for me. Drop a pen there. There you go. Go to street. Oh, that's a good trick. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here is the problem. This is a very charming little facade with a This is very cute. Mm. <laughs> ah, not easy there to put a sign on that. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no sign. Yeah. Kate, <clears throat> yeah. I have a question for Rebecca Morrison. Yeah. ARV. My question is really like, I understand and I agree with um, Anya that it's had a lot of turnover, but I also think that additional signage fees would could be confusing. And also, I think my question is based off of um, what's going in in the future. Like, I feel like knowing this, your whole development a little bit, there's going to be more conditions that are sort of like this, you know, where it's like. You know, we're not really on the main road, but we're kind of on a side street, so therefore we want to have an additional blade sign on, you know, mm -hmm. X because they did it as well. So I feel like you're setting yourself up for um, lots just of little lots, lots of little, little yeah. signs. And so to me, it's like you choose and you choose wisely because I think that, like, you know, as Dave was saying and stuff, I think that it's quickly the whole development's going to become a destination, and so therefore, um, 
it, it's really going to change fast, right? And I think, you know, we all know granola bar, like as I was saying, and it's like people are going to flock to it no matter what. So just choose it, <laughs> choose it carefully. Just choose it carefully, right? Like, it, I, because I do feel like the condition, what you're, we're setting ourselves up for, is the condition's going to keep on repeating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So then remove the one by go for ice cream. I say remove the other one. Yeah, I'm actually. We're the 1021. Yeah, yeah. Really, but people who are walking down the street, like on the. What about the hanging? Oh, yeah, I think it would be a hanging sign up of the. Okay, down the tunnel there. I read to see down the tunnel. I want to make a point. I see where the entrance door is. The box is where you were before. The view. So you're down the parking lot. Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah, yeah. Keep the one at 10. Yeah, right. Is that the most effective? But that being said, what I'm saying is, is that. You now have set up yourself for anyone in the Portland district to have something similar, right? Williams and Warren. What? Williams and Warren. Williams and Warren. Yeah. 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 Or any, or, but like there's, it's going to be with the, all these new buildings coming in, and not everyone's going to have a dual side, you know, so now you're setting yourself up for a lot of little blade signs to try to. So it, highlight just, it. just a thought of throwing a thought out there. What about hanging a, a sign off of the pergola, like a metal sign mm -hmm. on the it's, chain? It's just That's not, not on brand, no. Not your brand. It's not something we would do. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate it. Right. I just, we're so strict with our brand. Okay. Um, and it's supposed to be just super clean, not illuminated. Oh, no, um, this would not be illuminated. It would be no, just, just, just the same as your blade sign, but horizontal. No, I, once you're there, you're at our back door. Okay. So if you get there, we're good because you can probably, if you're standing there, you can probably see our front door. It's coming from either Corbin or the post road that you would have no idea we're there. Okay. okay. That would be my, my gut is if you're standing at the post road, you wouldn't know that we're back there. Um, and if you're standing in the new Corbin, you might not know that we're I'm not a fan of the one that uh, on the post road next to 1020. I think it's good. So that, that's like to, to, to your point of view. I could have probably put my put a pin on it, yeah. but it's like the signage representing on the front of our buildings for everything in the back it is going to get really heavy. If we go yeah. to the next development of Corbin, yeah. it's going to be boom, 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 boom signage representing everything in back. Like exactly. people know to go in the back. Anyone in town knows to go. Park park park. So if I had to pick one, I almost say not only one blade sign. If I had to pick one, I prefer the pocket park one because that's more intimate. They're trying to create a new pathway there where people okay, go. So Except that it's there. coming into their back door. Inside there. I, yeah, yeah. And they don't have any parking. And they're just on lunch. Yeah, you're right. You can't. So if Granola Bar was underneath that lamp, for instance, I would have absolutely no idea. Yeah. Where do you go? Right. Where are you? You're. I know, and that's I, about I it. honestly think that traffic's going to change the minute they exactly. open exactly. that corner up because they're going to use the medium street in the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and everybody knows you have to go back that way. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, yeah. So I think we're all saying the 1020, the, the sign's gone, this blade sign's gone. What do you guys think about the, the pocket park blade? I was never a fan of it there anyway. No, I mean, to me, that was just confusing. Yeah. The pocket park Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to keep the meeting moving, so we're going to do it. We're going to approve the two main signs you guys are allowed to, your blade and your wall sign, your main one. If you guys get there and you feel like traffic isn't up where you want it to, maybe come back and do a condition where we put up a second blade sign for a year until Corbin is done developing to drive more traffic to you guys, Heard. with the condition that it's up temporarily until that comes. What do you guys think about that? Thank you. So we've got two blade signs, two signs for Like Seymour's. I just want to applaud. Thank you. 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 The front one should be April May. I'm saying it or not. Thank you. There's going to be so much more Thank <laughs> you.
I'll say that one more time since there's a lot of background noise for each other. We are Airbnb number 9, 2023. This is One Medical. It's 104 Heights Road, which is also at uh, Gary and Cummins. Yes, by Kevin Kane, Hungwell Science, uh, proposing uh, One Medical. Will. Will Kessler, I'm with Identity. I'm a uh, sign vendor for One Medical. Okay. So we're proposing just a band sign with push through letters tonight, as well as a blade sign. Tell me which one. Okay. Um, I guess right there. Let's try that one. Pretty straightforward. Um, we've made a few of these in town already. Uh, you're probably familiar with the push through letters. Um, Explain again for us, Kevin, just for the record. Oh, it's, it's just a, it's a simple light box with um, uh, we cut out the letters and then we fill it with acrylic um, after we back the inside part of the uh, the sign. So the the letters raise off the um, surface about a quarter inch. And we cover the face of it with an opaque white vinyl, and the light comes out the edges. You've probably seen it around town mm -hmm. with roost and mm -hmm. boots. Right, okay. And do you have an image, sorry, Liz McCauley, the uh, architecture review question. Do you have a, um, what the buildings on either side look like? I don't believe so. There were some kinds I do, but it's, I don't think it's in this presentation, unfortunately. Um, uh, in, in the uh, the viewpoint, one of the uh, submittals included uh, photos of of the development. Although I, I must say, I was a little confused about exactly which okay. front yeah. was being represented. This one, current settings. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So is that? This is the right area. Is this is the right area. So that the one medical um, yeah. goes right where that is. Okay, yeah, the double loop. Yeah. yeah. So okay. boom, boom, right there. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That answers you. And put in the point just side. Some context, Kevin, on the right of you is the lobby to the residential Correct. in R1. Yes. And then to the left, there is not a current tenant. So we'll be able to control the person to the left there. OK. OK. So the blade side blade is right here. Yeah, so the blade side is right there, yeah. eight feet up. And now we, uh, we have stick out. We have the uh, drawing right here, number five. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Two foot, two by one, one by two. Okay. Not eliminated. Can we go up standard size to the project on the blades? No, no, not at all. They vary in a good way. Yeah. We had a debate about this in our next meeting. We're probably going to talk about it at the end of our meeting about blade sign. I'm trying to push everybody a little smaller. Everybody was going big there for a while. <laughs> we're, we're containing. Um, and the blade sign is not illuminated. Not illuminated, yes. Yeah, just the record. Okay. So how, how is this realized? Just painted? Or no, we'll do the, um, we would propose a push through as well. Yeah, give a little dimension to it. And it would be white. White, white not illuminated, correct, that. right. So there's no bracket for it, it's just straight into a wall. That's right. Uh, now we're going to the, the next detail, is going to show you the bracket. There we go. Oh, there you go. So it's like a, there we go, here. OK. Great. So it's 22 feet and 4 inches. All right, Kevin and Will, do you know, is your client talking about doing any additional signage inside the building that requires the illumination or any additional wall lighting? And I ask this because after we approve these things, clients keep coming back in and adding additional signage that's not, you can't do, so. No, no, I'll keep them contained. Okay, I will let you know now. If there are additional, wall, if you're putting anything on the windows or you're thinking of anything inside that's being lit up, it, is no. it likely going to be an issue? No, but you got no. to come back to us. No, that is not. That, that is definitely not in their program okay. for, for that type of science. The only thing we do have going on the windows is just they have these atoms that are that are they go on every job site. They kind of they sit at the bottom of the windows, but they're mm -hmm. they're literally like 
four yeah. inches. Yeah, that's so. super subtle. Okay. Okay, great. We had one other thing we wanted to bring up. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's mm -hmm. a good time to do it. Sure. Uh, I, I yeah. sent it yeah. late. Yeah. Uh, Is that a different? Yeah, it's a different. Um, all the way to the bottom there. It's the last thing. Like, 645 or something. Like he's <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the uh, that's the film we want to use, but this is the window okay, we want to cover. Um, apparently, there's some kind of um, um, what was behind there? Yeah, I can, I can yeah, you want to take this a little bit better. All right. So, uh, actually, on the facade, how it's the, how it's built, we've got these two louvers right here, and then we've got another set right here. So instead of taking I'm out the take uh, um, so instead of taking out uh, this is actual louvers here. Instead, of, uh, this is just a window. So they, I think they wanted to replace the louvers just to cover. There's a soffit being built back there, and then there's going to be like uh, mechanical. You're going to see the construction back there. So we have another MSDS cut sheet in there to show the type of film they just want to put over this one window, just to to uh, it's like a it's like an etched glass. So just to cover the construction back there, which is on the on, on see the ductwork well. through the glass. Yep. Just so you don't yep. see it, yeah. Is it permanent or temporary? That's going to be permanent. Yeah. It's on. So we go back out and you can see the, um, the, the other one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah, go back out. Mm -hmm. And then the phosphorus. Right so here, though, it's like. So it's it's not very much. No. It's not very much. It's not very much. It's not very much. It's not very much. It's not yeah, if you could go back to that photo that you had of the yeah. side, let's see how it's set up now. This one, yeah. There's a little bit there. So you got a set of three right here, and then it'll be that window right there. Excellent. Is this the condition that you expect in other places? Is it possible that it's something we should kind of standardize with like extra glasses? So you know, I'm not anticipating. So we're going to put it on the. We'd like to put it on the inside as well. So you know, the window has its own tint to it. Okay. So you, you probably won't even see it. You put it inside. Yeah. Inside of the glass, yeah. Okay. Like a spin, a spin. And then what's going in front of the mover okay. though? The, the elevation shows it as if a panel goes in front of the mover. Is that mover going to end up not being utilized? Well, that shows these. Yeah. So these. I mean, there's all this. Uh, like I said, there's a big soffit that's going to be back here, and it's going to be holding like HVAC equipment and stuff yeah. like that yeah. up there. So. Um, but that's. I mean, that's but it. It's just. just so you are. But the elevation doesn't show a mover. But now, the photo shows a mover. So what's you're going to eliminate right. that louver? Or, no. Or that the, one. That's that. No, these, the, I think when we actually did our actual sign drawings, we, the, uh, there was updates to the architectural yeah. files. And so, um, we still, I, again, that's a little out of my scope because I do mm -hmm. signage. So, um, but they asked very nicely and we we're like, all right, we'll see if we can push you with y'all. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to hide the equipment back there. And like you said, there's a tent on the window. We get that on the backside. You guys won't see anything. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's all remaining the same. That if they're just going to put yeah, that film on the glazed portion. So. Yeah. Okay. That was the only other thing. Okay, great. Favorable report based on what you guys presented. I'll put great. it in a letter and get it out to you. Thank you. Um, Will, yeah. what's your company's name, Will? I'm with Identity. We uh, we work for One Medical. It's Identity with an I. Okay. The I can send you the stuff too. Yeah. You, okay. Yeah. Um, so do you need a copy of our letter? Should I just send it to Kevin? I, I, uh, yeah, you can just send it to Kevin, and we're going to get, get hopping on fabrication now. Okay. Uh, okay. I appreciate well, what it. What was your last name? Uh, K-E-S-S. K-E-S-S-I-N-G-E-R. Um, all right. This is pretty good. Two family reports already. I think this has happened in a while. All right. Uh, Airb number 10, Citibank. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. I forgot one thing. Yes. In our drawings, we actually have 6,500K million. Respect for our uh, signage. Oh, and he's not here. Yes, I heard. Yes, yeah, yeah, I We're going to go ahead and revise our drawings, and I'll have Kevin send up a revision. Yeah. It shows the 5,000 K for the fabrication. Well, you yeah, yeah, for your attention. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. now we get a yeah. Now we get a applause yeah. yeah. from us. <laughs> 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 I wonder where you want that, man.
I did bring some color samples for you guys. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. We love showing that. <laughs> so City Bank, you guys know, is the building that's remaining at, uh, right in front of the Commons uh, on the Heights Road. It's been there for a while. It also houses the main exit for Darien Commons with that interesting new um, ATM. We are not talking about the ATM and the site at large right now, if I'm correct. You are just here talking about the building signage. Um, there is one sign on the canopy as well, on the drive through canopy. So there's three wall signs, okay. and um, which are getting replaced with ones that are already existing, and then a canopy sign which is proposed where there is no sign currently. So this is the existing city bank. A, B, and C are the wall signs that are existing, and we're looking to replace them. Um, they currently are um, panels and SEOs with external illumination, and we are proposing um, halo lit uh, let aluminum letters. Um, so you then remove the uh, the bar lights above. Correct. Yes. Yep, so this panel, the cabinet would be removed as well as the external illumination above it. And these would be um, what we're proposing. Also, I did hear the mention of the allowable 5,000K. Ours are currently at 71,000. So I obviously have to go back to the client and ask them, um, which I'm sure they'll have no, no worries with, lowering the illumination to the 5,000. Are those um, mounted to the building, that the letters? Or they yes, ma'am. They're mm -hmm. mounted to the building. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's the I have first. I think the, one of the questions I had the first time we looked at this was what was, it was there a panel? No, here, that's just um, the way they just the kind of colored it. Yeah. So yeah. That, that crown does continue yeah. through. Correct. Right, okay. Yep. And also not part of the signage, I guess, is the... Um, yeah. The numbers, I know you guys did have a question about that. Those, yeah. one of the, those will be removed, the one on the right, and the one on the left will be painted the gray to match the building. That's great. Yeah. What's the size of that letter? That's not good. We have a letter the corner for the scene. Um, it is 11 and a quarter inches. With the arch, it is 18 inches. The allowable letter height here, I believe, is 16 inches. Because it looks to me like a little more. Ah, maybe a little more. And, and do you need the two numeral? Sorry, that's the two. Yeah, <laughs> do you need the two? Um, Address signs on the pillars shouldn't they be on? And yeah, we're, we're deferring to this. <laughs> we're so, we're proposing to have the one on the right el uh, eliminated. No, Elim no, just on the door. Oh, just you mean take it? Your address just on the door. Oh, that would um, be um, yeah, that would be really pretty. The yeah. forty here. That that would. I'm sure they would have no objection to that. It is a little That's distracting. Too much. Okay, can you go back Three. to number five? Which one? In number this one? Five. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's the one on the front, but then the other ones I noticed are a smaller scale. The ones on the side and the back. Okay, uh, the so the, yeah, then there's the one on the side, which is also halo lit. And that one is um, an 8-inch letter, and with the arch, it's 14 inches overall. That one, the one we're talking about here? Uh, yes. Is it under six? No. Yep, that's that's correct. Or what was yep. it? Yep. It's a B, which would be the, the one above it. Yep. Okay. That thing. Are you, B. are you proposing to light the ones on, along the side? Yep, those are also illuminated. So you are proposing three illuminated? Correct. Building signs? Yeah. There, there are three existing there. They're just externally illuminated. So can I ask, Jackie, what is also illuminated in that parking lot? 
Bollards. So Bollards. Um, Do you mind coming up? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going really solely off of memory here, too. Um, Julie, I apologize. I'm not from here. So, no, well, 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 Although um, I have to see him all this stuff, I might want to cut them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. So there's bollard lighting. Uh, there's lighting lighting, you know, um, parking lighting, down lighting. Equinox has building lighting, um, like multiple. They've got lots of sconces up pretty high, kind of highlighting their roof line. Um, and then the Equinox sign, and I, I even think their 72 is lit, if I'm kind of remembering this off the top of my head correctly. Um, Walgreens will be lit, has a lit sign as well too, and I think they have a lit blade sign as well. Mm -hmm. um, well, the other thing is when we're going on lighting, and I think we're going to talk to you about this further, you and Patrick specifically, this is beyond her, is the actual lighting on that ATM. Stop there, Harry, I mean, perfect. That ATM is, I mean, that thing's lit, I, I, I can't even give it, it's like a little like a baseball field. So yeah, there um, there is lighting there. There I, is crazy lighting there yeah. that I what, we would need to talk. That's the jewel box. That is the jewel box. <laughs> well, I think they would like on um, like down lighting. Yeah, that be yeah. Is that that's going to be a Patrick conversation, Liz. It and was done, and the board never reviewed or saw this. It just popped up one day. Um, so we've been talking to them about coming in, and I think we're finally going to talk about this next month. Talk yeah. to that. Uh, it, it's yeah. that's Patrick. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, because I had nothing, I had nothing, and that was pre kind of my time. Yeah, I right, think right. that they like those fairly lit because of safety. Yep. But uh -huh. um, there's but a balance. You can see lights on the side too. Actually, you see the lights on the side mm -hmm. everywhere, and mm -hmm. then there are also yeah. lights up in there shooting down. down. Um, so yeah. that thing is yeah. Yeah. And then I think there, I was pulling up your site for the comments. Like, you have street lamps going up. Right, everybody. Remember these street, we looked at last time for the main commons or street lamps all around. Are those also along this walkway, the street lamps? I cannot I remember. So. I can't remember. I cannot remember. What? When I drive home, I I will text message. Sorry, Herbie. Okay. I will. I actually will go by there and take a quick, and I'll. Because there are two street lamps in front of Seymour's that are new. Yes. So I'm wondering on the other side if they're also adding that same ambiance. It would make sense for me to be. I don't there. remember. Yeah. I don't remember. Okay. And Gregory's also remember uh, has sconce lighting as well too. Right. Yeah. Right. What determined the height of this drive-through? It's like designed for truckers. I mean, no, <laughs> no idea. You really can put a fire truck under that without. No a idea. Way, so it's, it's half jokingly safety way. Mm -hmm. You could you could drive out of there. So that canopy was put with no permission. I, I, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I, you know, we're just saying here, I thought this was temporary. This no, not this. Their signage package. Oh, their signage package. I'll let you guys speak. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, the, the, lighting, I, the lighting's getting out of hand, I think, to a lot of degree. Everyone wants their light. I understand, but it's, it is of concern. I think that's yeah, like, coming to the point that a lot of people danced around here. It's too much. Just B need to be lit you know, mm -hmm. on one side. Can just be A. So this one could be just A. Or just A. Right. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. a. Right, Dave. Yeah, yeah it gets into hours of operation, too. Sure. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. But I agree, the one on the side, there's no need not that. really, yeah. Contributing if it's lit. Yeah. I think A and C lit B C is the side as well. C is the back. And there's. I mean, I can see the already made for. Yeah, that's where you're going to park. Yeah. Well, yeah. well the, people use C more, I, I guess. Right. More than, than anything. Is it Seymour? But yeah, they use the, the parking lot entrance yeah. more than the, than the, the yeah. Heights Road entrance. However, the Heights Road entrance has the largest letter. What if it's your bank? Like yeah, you that's the out. presence. And with GPS, that's the, yeah, that's, you'd know where to find the bank. So then I would say, I would say I would say A and C the 
that's a David Humphrey also. That's a unit sheet, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah those and then the eliminate stuff. sign B or just put it not illuminated? No B. No B. Done. Yeah. We're a coastal town. Well, then the next part is we, we got the sign on the side of the uh, drive through. Get in. That's yeah. the worst sign. That's not. Yeah, for now. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we look, look at this building as oh, the sign is just in this building and the, all the concerns of ATM I think has to be addressed. Um, and, we're, uh, yeah. and we'll bring Patrick back to discuss that whole ATM, the whole structure of it. Start with signage, lights, everything, landscaping. Functionality, I, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that was so never. I'm just not, I'm just not familiar with. So, it. so the canopy was built without any permits or any. The drive through was that right? I don't know what plans on it, but it was not to with any A or B review. So gotcha. that part. So let's exclude that for now. Okay. And keep your keep your your uh, application simple. Okay. So looking at your A, B, and C, it sounds like A and C are approved yeah. as presented. Size, material, style, lighting choice. As long as you bring down to five thousand Kelvin. Okay. Um, that. The illumination is restricted to the hours of operation, right? Okay. Yeah. And eliminating sign B. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eliminating these merge numbers. Yeah. Oh, and the numbers. Yeah. Taking away the numbers. So you guys are in favor of putting the numbers on the doors versus yeah. a single number sign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Numbers going yeah. on the doors. As long as yeah. the numbers are there. They yeah. will be. <laughs> so you want them removed from the um, from the sellers? The sellers. Yeah. Okay. So you want both forties removed? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You do need, on the door. You do need, on the you do door. need one somewhere. Yeah, on the door, door. With the address. To make sure that it's readable. Just like a vinyl yeah, rubber right. board. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what most people look for the address. Yeah. I mean, I just put in my GPS and I'm like, oh, yeah, do well, this. You know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so you've got a fair report for okay. those two signs. Okay. So do we, uh, we just have the drawings revised and resubmit them. We don't have to appear again. What you'll do, so I'll, I'll be, I'm saying fair report now. The new signs, yes, have to go. The new drawings have to go to Hervé, and he will put through actually a um, administrative approval that I'll review okay. them and sign via, you know, okay. electronically. Sure what? Okay. I'm not clear. She's, She's got to send us new PDFs. Yeah. I'll have the drawings revised and then okay. send them to you, and yes. then you'll read okay, the final drawings. Right. We'll put them in the. In the yeah. We can load them up directly into the. Oh, perfect. Okay. Just load and them then up you guys will deal with the canopy as as with Patrick. Yeah. And please relate to your client. Okay. And it, it, it's just the point that we need to see you guys back as sooner than later to talk about the canopy. Okay. Um, what's approved, like what's existing there, is not supported by this group. So okay. we've been requesting it. If we don't see you guys soon, uh, I mean. Yeah. I yeah, don't we'll know who did figure out how to kind of address that. There, so we'll okay. have to go well, there's back a to there's an upcoming big redo of all the approach to that building at some point that, that Patrick wanted to talk about. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. So landscaping, the sidewalk, and all that, the entrance to the, the functionality. Okay. I mean, okay. it's right. Okay. It's a gateway building. So right. So when he does that, maybe we can take a look at the okay. entire thing. Okay. Yeah. You know, I've got, you've got, I'll connect you with Patrick and we'll make sure okay. that this gets into next month. Perfect. Into just make sure they appreciate it. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget your samples. Oh, oh you don't yeah. need them? Uh, you can just toss them. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, yes. did it get an A? I brought samples. <laughs> Are you with City Bank? Um, no, I'm with Sign Star, the installer. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jan. Okay. So, here, Bay, fair report those two things, but we need to do an administrative yep. approval. Okay. Okay. Is that uh, Dave Humphrey? <coughs> we'll do it. So, I'm not going to write him a letter. It's going to be administrative approval. Because we need to revise the scope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Uh, next up, uh, two more left in the agenda today. Airbnb number 11, 2023. This, wait, no, oh, that's wrong. Right. We did it. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Only one left. Yes. <laughs> ARB number 12, 2023. I'm excited. Is it Nava or Naya? Naya. Naya. I'm so sorry. I, I'm getting, oh, I can't believe, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naya at 146 Hydro. It's awesome, dude. What would you say? You can blow up the fun. I know. I just, I'm so old. I don't know how to do it. Like, how did it, how did it blow up the fun? It's not your virus. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
Hi, uh, Kevin Kane, owner of Fungwall Signs, here to propose signage for Naya at Darien Commons. Okay. And this is Craig. Craig, I should. Craig, I know we know you all, but for the record, it's nice to meet you. And Craig, who do you represent? What's your company? Naya. I'm, I'm with Oculus. I represent okay. Naya. All right. What do okay. you guys got? So we have a blade sign and a, um, a edge slit. Letter, four letters, Naya, and uh, we're going to mount it to a raceway. Do you want to see the current site photo just first? Mm -hmm. Some context, right? Correct. That's this building. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's a little bit to the left. It's right about here. It's this one here. Yeah, this that's one? that's where the building yeah. site would go. Yeah. Well, I didn't take the picture. <laughs> I know. I took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I think I sent you drawings on this as well. Yeah, we do. Well, there's, yeah. We'll go to see what's in there. So now we saw the picture. Let's see the storefront detail. Oh, there's more, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh. That's uh, a good one to start. This is not the one you want, though. No, that's not the one you want. Right. That's, that's what's in the... That's what's in the packet. Is that no, not, there's yeah, there's, another, there's, one. A, there's no. another one that Kevin did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's uh, is there one? one? Yes. Want to yes. see the next one? Yeah. But that's not on the. Did I not put it in? I think that's the last one. Oh, we can we can work from this. Though. Oh yeah, that's fine. Sure, I have you know I have paper as well. Like I did a couple. Of I think those 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 drawings did make it. Those were uploaded, but as far as showing them on an elevation, I don't know that we had it. Hmm. Separate. Okay. Look like so they don't have these. Yeah. So what we have is this. This one? Is this what we're looking for? Can I? Yes. That is the one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's in there. Oh, it's in there. What is it? What's it's in there. What is it called? Sorry. Uh, it it's is the last called, one. Um, Kevin Kane upload Naya ARB upload from February 15th at 12:30. Oh, wait, there's more. Yes. Oh, there you yeah. go. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I did that. It always has this long, there, long, this long text after the first thing. It's like you think oh. you, it's like you know when you have too many PDFs. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. There so we go. Is. So pretty straightforward again. Um, mounts to the raceway and. and, and Pretty much what we did for Upme too, um, if you remember that. Um, so the letters are edge lit. You can see a little detail here where they come around, just the outside of the letter, like this. What is the depth of the letter? One and one and three quarter, I believe, is the dimension given. It, yes, exactly. So that much surface will be illuminated. Is there out of that one and three quarters, like one and a half inch? I would say one and a half would be the. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's that's too much. I think that I, I don't that know. That seems like that's, a lot. Yeah, that I think it might be almost reverse of that. We can do half inch uh, illumination. Okay. Um, I think that's the. the yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I think that the it's light just overpowering, light just right? Over, right. Over right. Over exactly. I would agree. No. So we'll do inch and half deep letter with a quarter inch, or not even sorry, half inch. Um, yeah. Edge lit. Okay. Edge lit. This I had a bit of an issue with. That I guess the box in the back is the necessary electrical stuff. Yeah, right. right. And yeah. then the letters are in front. Yeah. So now there's three textures, right? There's the letters, the white, and then whatever the facade does in the back. It, it, I well, that raceway. Quite read, not, I mean, yeah. I know I'm that reading. raceway will match that color. It'll match the white. The, yeah, color. So it'll blend in. Yes, yeah. it'll be the color of the building. Okay, that may help. Because there's yeah. no way, Kevin, to um, like almost like pin mount, pin mount, mount them directly it to the with, building. Yeah, we'd have to drill a hole through and run each electrical line through that way. There's no way to yeah. do it just based off the two, like on the A and the and then the A or something. Do you know what I mean? It came out really nicer of me if you've ever been by there. Um, Which yeah, one? I'm saying it. Of me. Of me. Good day. Oh yeah. We yeah. did the same thing for that. Yeah, yeah, you really don't see the raceway. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's all about the letters. And is, is it that feels like it's too big and not centered over the door. The scale's off. 
I mean, it's only 13 inches, it looks. But it's, yeah, actually it's the like, drawing might be sure that's it doesn't inch. look right. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it's, it's not on center inch. with the door. Well, the, the, these are typically eight and a half to 10 inches here, um, from here to here. I think it uh, needs to be smaller. I, I think it might be a little out of scale though. Th Thirteen right. inch letters. Yeah. Right. Thirteen inch I, letters, and this again, this is this is typically, yeah, like I have it here, ten inches. Mm -hmm. The band is ten inches, so you know, say that's three inches above it. I think that looks odd. It, it looks like you've like put a sticker over the front door. I think it needs to be smaller and, and justified to the right. It'd be pretty small. I mean, That'd be pretty small. Pretty small compared to the other ones. I also, I don't think you're going to read it like that very often. I mean, I don't know whether you have a shot. It's more of a perspective. Like, yeah, maybe a little bit more like that. So this, I think this helps. Yeah. This, yeah. that one yeah. this helps large. to read because you have some some darker edging, which is not, which is lost when you see this one. <coughs> this, this kind of fades. Is there a way to lock? Maybe you just have an like a tiny edge around each of the letters, so they read. This, this could be they, they, computer they, they, To me, they fade a little bit. The, maybe it's also the type. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have any comments. I'm not the ARB, but that was just my personal opinion. <laughs> well, that's nice to hear. I think it's because it's the, the, the white band is a bit I think of that distraction much done, yeah, in that. the illustration, and if it wasn't there, it would be yeah, I think the, the band definitely needs, needs to match the storefront. It'll match the storefront, and you know, and it'll, uh, it'll have a nice edge to it as well. And because I did look at this, I also have an issue with the exact location of those four letters in relationship to the center of the door. Yeah, they would be centered. That is the really yeah. tricky oh, to me, because yeah, it's course. only four letters, yeah. which yeah. is not easy to center, and then the third letter is a Y, and it's like visually, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know you guys are really with that. Yeah. It's like, oof. Oh yeah, absolutely. How do you balance it? It'll be centered on the door for sure. Okay. okay. Well, that's why I think it needs to be smaller and then balanced. I don't think it'd be a little bit bigger. That's so funny. Well, to kind of, I don't know. Like it goes I'm right over the. Of, of a, me's a were transom. fourteen, Pardon and me? of me's were fourteen. Yeah, they're high. they're taller. They're wider than or taller than the the transom. Yeah, and it reads yeah. it reads nice. proportion yeah, it it to the storefront. Well, what's the dimension height of the transom? I mean, he's got ten inches from shadow line to shadow line. What's the top piece? Okay below the glass. I think, so that piece is maybe three inches? The frame of yeah, it looks like typically the, the storefront framing is two inches. Okay. Yeah. okay. So instead of 13, what if you did 12? Yeah. Then you match, you match the transom height. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I, don't think I mean, you can go out and measure. I don't think we know exactly what that is. Right. It could be well, a little bit off, but I mean, to, well, we could just we, we, yeah, we, we could just match the, the, the bottom of the horizontal to the top of the top of the sill, window. you know, the window frame. That would be the max height. So, so keep this moving. So we, the board is unanimously saying shrink it slightly yeah. to fit within the band, sign band. Mm -hmm. Is that the well, that no? It's actually not the it's a little band. more so into the plus the bottom rail. Yes. The top, okay. of, top of the bottom sill. And okay. the center. You, want, you don't want to go above the top of the band, like, right. no. like the other signs in no. the area of me and everything else? I guess Could not. You this one. The, uh, well, it's going to, it's, but it's going to because it's, it's mounted on the transom, but it's going to the top of the window sill above which is set back so there is going to be a little bit of a gap right but, but are we some... asking them to to stay within the height of the, the upper window ten. sill yeah yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying but that's still set back, back from the trench there is going to be a well, well, I mean, I don't know what you're well doing that's that's why we wanted to go edge lay two and not halo because the halo yeah. would really kind of yeah, yeah. 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 mess yeah. mess things up yeah. and got reflections on the glass and i mean we have the same situation with me and we went 13. It looks great. 14. Oh, 14. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would. It of me deliberately went above. That was like part of the design to go above the, uh, to go over, to overlay the windows. That was the style of it. Yeah, so I mean, it'll, right. it'll So the style of this is ideally to go up, overlap the windows? It'll, it'll kind of be, you know, of me has it, and this will look pretty much the same. Too, I think. But not if we're shrinking it. 
You were not considering it by the top of the year. Yeah, you're saying you don't want to shrink no, it. You no, want to keep no, it to 13. I want to keep it to at least 13. The 13 doesn't bother me. 13 doesn't bother me. Since, no. since the blade is so close on this side, would there be any sort of consideration for putting the Naya with those same size up here? It's too high. It will and, be and, very and there, weird up there. There's there, residential right? there. Right. Yeah, yeah, it gets really yeah. weird. Yeah. Okay. Intense is good too. Oh, I was asked. Okay, the way. What's the uh? I'm sorry, Leslie. I think you're. I think you're getting the majority. Center on the door. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so Kevin, if people, everyone's saying the size is okay. Or the majority is saying the size is okay as long as it's centered. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Nice. Okay. But just that would and the runway just, in the back is painted to match, yeah. yeah the and match. just have it have be an architect, like match the, that trim piece of the, so it architecturally makes sense, more sense in the space. Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in, within that. Okay. Tight. What was it? I got to come back to my favorite question. Are we yeah, doing uh, yes. oh, shoot, okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, Gs for all these suites with the, the number of heights rows? Yes. We did. So there's not any on this one. Uh, you mean the, the letter, the numbers, no, the, ad the address? The address, the address, address is 104C, 104A, 110. I don't know what it is, but are we putting it on the door? Kevin actually did them. This photograph was probably taken before those even got on there. It is a simple, white. Went, just a white vinyl. We kept the font. We went we went through the fire department and kind of asked them where they would like them on the doors and sizing and all of that. So <laughs> it's a simple white number. It's not a suite. It's just a... Great. 90, you know, whatever it is. Just a question. question. Yeah. Um, are, are we seeing this right? Are those Grecian columns on the outside? It looks like they have boots. They do have some looting. Yeah. That's the base building. That yeah. was, that was um, base building. have anything to do with that. Okay. Not us. Okay, maybe it's just like the way the picture Yeah, like. It's Lebanese food. It's not. Okay. Greek. Okay. All right. Okay. It's just a picture. Any comments on the blades? Yeah, let's talk about the blade and the description on there. Okay. I like. Well, there's more than just the name. It's okay. Talk to us, Dave Riley. We'll know it. I'm sorry. So yeah. Do you have some comments? Let's jump well, on. Well, just the question is: is the name of the business is Naya, and as as we've addressed in the past, there's additional information put on the blade side that is not part of the name. Mm -hmm. And actually, it seems like it. It's hard to read. Um, mm -hmm. I, I understand the the need for explanation, but is that something that can maybe be done on the on the windows or something? Well, yeah. typically, typically, what we'll do is we will do the Naya with the four letters, and there'll be two lines after that. It'll say Middle Eastern Counter and Grill. Is it really two separate lines that match the height of the Naya letters. So that's typically what what we put up on the building, right. on the face, but it was too much to put on with the space that we had, and right. so we would like to still do that, because we typically will do Is this. Is it part of the name of the business? Pardon? Is it your legal name? That, that I, comes up a, a bunch. Yeah, I don't know if it's part of the legal it's gotta name. It's got to go. No. Unless it's part of the legal name, it's got to go. I'll keep it simple and move forward. Okay. So I'll put that in there. So tell well, you guys. So if, well, if, it's part, to argue. if it's part of the legal name, then, uh, then send us paperwork. Okay. So we can let it suggesting go. or what we may opt to do is put Middle Eastern counter and grill on the door. Yeah. Okay. Or even on the door. Sure. Yeah, like the windows. I like, would even like the flanking windows, perhaps. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe redraw that. It would be neat though to have them doors, especially because we have no Middle Eastern. Do you think it's possible to enlarge the letters because there'll be more space with those little letters gone? You want me to try to propose that as well? Like, or send a drawing in? No. No, I think it's okay. You like that? Okay. Yeah. It's got, yeah, it's got you can charge it more if you make them bigger, right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. You mean of Naya? Up price. Yeah, who's saying the, Up the four letters when the other perimeter goes away if the Naya. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I would, I'm it's a nice proportion to you. I think that looks good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, scale well. Okay. Okay. So, uh, favorable report. Um, I'll write you a letter. Just um, I'm, I'm not going to do the administrative approval, but just send a new PDF with uh, adjusting the um, letter gone. 
Yeah, that scripture gone. I think that's it. They are not quite finished. Yeah, there's one more there's, part. There's a big component to this. Yeah, this is the Sorry. fun part. This is the fun part to the very end of this <laughs> and, and the whole meeting. That on the door or the window? So yeah, just... yeah, I'll write that in my letter that you could move it to the door if you like. That okay. we'd be acceptable. We'll, we'll look at doors that. Doors and windows. Thanks, Dave. Okay, yeah, what else? Okay. The interior, the, um, the window graphics? Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, so you had, you had yeah. those light boxes. Oh, yeah. No, the, the shadow box. Oh, yeah. They have a vitrine. Where? Is this in, where is it? So Hello. go back up where right. you were before, Hervé. Uh, so is, is I probably still have it wrong. The it's, design it's drawings. Right. Design. Yeah, that one. So is it this one? Cool. Yeah, design design I believe so. Yeah, oh, yeah like, agreed. It's fun. Both of their concepts are pretty And then scroll down, yeah, yeah like slide yeah. seven. Yeah. Start with seven. Yeah. Because they're not yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a situation where the bathrooms are actually up against the storefront. And so what we did is we created like a shadow box, like a window display. And we've really kind of struggled as to the best way to try to do this. And so we, we've entertained a number of different ideas. We've narrowed it down to two. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it ends up being one of these two, but I know it's it's a discussion that we have to have because I don't know that there's any criteria for what you can put inside of a shadow box. Um, so there were two different ideas. And the one is to do um, this first one here with recycled cardboard cutouts of various images and things like that. And there are a couple of examples that the branding company found of artists that do this type of thing and talking about doing something like, you know, relational, trying to make it relational to the, the business um, and make it fun and entertaining at the same time. Um, the other option was to uh, highlight artists and maybe do some kind of a, an artist display of one artist or two different artists and hang those in there and maybe it changes twice a year type of thing. Um, That's even lower, hair bank. Yeah. Um, right. It's like, it's so like direction, you, yeah. go past 14, direction 15. two, number yeah. 16 there. If you go to 16 and 17. But those were just some examples of what they had come up with, um, with what other people have done. And this would be something along the lines of what we would propose as, a, as the other option is to do some kind of an artwork. This was a Lebanese architect. So would um, this be a rotating? Yes, something. So I, I saw this in New York a few weeks ago. Um, it was like it was a pop-up in a retail store. It was between two restaurants. Um, it was a shoe store, which wasn't selling anything. So they turned it into a pop-up <clears throat> uh, art display. Mm -hmm. And they used the storefront display to create essentially what you're doing here. Um, and it um, was changing every week um, that I noticed. It was in my neighborhood in, in New York City. So uh, I like it, but it has to be really well curated yeah. Yeah, and yeah. operated and right. you know, not forgotten. No, we would definitely need to have some parameters. you know. And I don't know if it means coming back here to evaluate what's going to be put in the window before it gets put in and get approval that way. or. I'd rather at some staff that, level or, or what? We, but wouldn't we view this as a retail storefront window? Do we have yeah, I mean, jurisdiction over what their display, visual display is? Not really. I mean, I kind know. of no, not really. I mean, if you want to work and work with the town, that would be obviously nice. But if it's lit, you do need to come back to us. I'd rather see it personally, Rebecca Morrison, I feel like it could go awry really fast. Like, I really did like the paper cutout, but um, I'd rather not see it be a local artist because that could lead to high school artwork that could be good, or it could be, you know, the Girl Scout troop that, you know, is ending up doing this. And so I would rather see, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I would rather see something that was more um, true. Well, I think it's also towards the point. Sorry, I didn't mean to stop for talking to you until you finish. I'm sorry. Um, also, I think in putting parameters out there, I think that, that, that we could do that and give guidance. And one of those parameters, I would say initially, is no copy. 
it has to be pure art, right? No messaging, because mm -hmm. that gets into political messaging right. and different, you know, I, I don't want to go there. So just across right. the board, if there's any sort of writing that needs to come back here, any sort of lighting needs to come back here. Um, but I think it'd be helpful and collaborative for a larger site that we see what you guys are coming back with. Like mm -hmm. this is, yeah. these are beautiful, what you just yes. played, but yeah. it, usually that I've seen local artwork displays, whether it be <laughs> dermatologist offices that I can think of or something like that. They're not as high. Uh, they're they're, they're not, not this high of quality. So, yeah. like, so I'd rather see it more on a permanent basis. Yeah, so uh, Anna Janice, um, is, is there a focus, on, did you say local, did I miss that in the conversation that you always said local artists or is it somewhere well, no, it was somewhere in the Middle Eastern artists? You know, like the example they put in there was a Lebanese architect. Yeah. The owner is Lebanese. Um, yeah. And so it's something I think a little bit more, not just local, it's more, I want to say right. almost educational in a way, yeah, you know, so or broadening of 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 right. you know bringing right. interesting things because here you have artists to collaborate with and Zim and Zoo are from um, I'm not even going to try to say the town of France because <laughs> um, and then here is let's see, Pierre Pont. so I I love like the idea of bringing in artists I think we have lots of children here and having very graphic pieces of art in the window will certainly have people stop for a minute and contemplate mm -hmm. um, I just agree. Um, with Rebecca, that this can go. Yeah, wide. no, I, I, I don't think there's an. Easily. Okay. I don't think there's the intent to, to okay. go that way. I and think then, it is to keep it more on a professional level, yes. if that's the right word. Last question Is Naya facing, do the windows face south or they north? They face north. Okay. Right. So there's not going to be the sun that will fade, you yeah. know, whatever's in there? Yeah. Right. So since you guys, everyone suggested about not letting this go what the term was, uh, what are some parameters you guys would suggest that we could give these guys to start working with so this is productive? My yeah. art, no copy in these, it's pure art. No lights. Uh, and no and lights must be approved. There, I mean, lighting could be cool for an evening well, display. Yeah. yeah, so like if it's, again, in a storefront, if it's a retailer. We're, we we're going to need to light it. Yeah, we're sure. not dictating how they light their right. mannequins and their product. product. Yes, yes. things true. cannot be lit within two feet of the store. So I time. would say keep those same um, parameters that we have for retailers on their okay. storefront visual display because we don't dictate what they're actually putting out there but if we have some parameters of how they how that comes through the storefront for the right to use that 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 is kind of my question is you, you said that these are basically to mask bathrooms that are being installed so well, I'm, yeah. I'm looking at the facade now so Oh yeah, it's up there. So it's, it's on the, the right. The far the right hand side is the window. This one? That no, one. no the far right. right. It, right. The, all the way to the right. right. That yeah, those, right. Those, oh, that's the size okay. of it right there. Yeah. yeah. So would you be just, just that one? Just that one. one. Just the one. The other ones are in the dining room. Okay. And that dark square that you're seeing in there—that's the access, access panel, panel to get into it. Drywall. So it's a drywall little. Yes. It's probably it's like three feet deep or so. I think it's eighteen inches. I think it's. Than that. I Is think it? it's closer to three. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it's a nice space. Too. Yeah. 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 And I, I, I think just putting in some small little pin yeah, like lights so you can. Right. Yeah. You some can directional down. Direction. Or, you know, into yeah. the space. Nothing coming out or projecting out onto the sidewalk or right. anything like that. Right. So that would be a good exception to, uh, 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 not to what you're saying about like, there we don't allow lighting. But we would be saying a parameter here is you guys then can't possibly do lighting, like pinlet letters, you just suggested pinlet letters shining into the artwork, but that would have to be something that comes back through the board. Product. As long as it's two foot back from the storefront, that's okay. I mean, potentially you fall within that. That may be not enough of an angle. I think it's going to need to be closer than, mm -hmm. than that. Mm -hmm. It should yeah. be. Because right in, here now, Craig, you don't have any lighting shown, right? No. Yeah. No, not until we figure out what we're doing. The idea. We'll the yeah. Right. yeah. I think it would look phenomenal to have just on very, because I see this in New York City all the time, just very minimal kind of layered art pieces mm -hmm. hanging, you know, from just little wires and pinlet and mm -hmm. super minimal mm -hmm. layered, giving that whole depth and some height direction. But that's why I would rather see 
in my opinion, money that was spent on it originally and not have it rotate. I'd rather mm -hmm. have something right. that was more of a permanent Installation. Yeah. Installation. Then I think it's, I think it's intended space. to be that, you know, or it gets switched well, out once think, a year or something. Yeah. Well, you know, that's but, why I think it could actually be. We see it. We approve it. Right. I'm not saying it's. I'm not Wait. saying it's the pin, the thing on the side of the Seymour's building, but at the same time, I don't necessarily think the owners should just give, be given full. Yeah. I think they were could, open to either. I think it, it's a benefit right. to them to keep things more permanent. Longer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anything no, can be I, fun I, and funky and yeah. doesn't have to be, you know, yeah. it's so it could be something really cool, but it doesn't, it should be more permanent. Could you use a strip light? Sometimes, sometimes I'll use window display lights for their long strips, one inch thick. Um, low light, they're not very bright. Mm. I think it all really depends on what you just yeah, we'll, end up we'll deciding yes, on, on what it option. is, right? Because yeah, right. like, like it could be a it could be an illuminated shadow box that like, like horizontal, has an inside panel, horizontally right? like this. Like, that's how I imagine mm -hmm. having that in detail. But like it shoots down the back wall, looks really nice. You know, so that you can change it. Yeah. Case by case. I'm thinking here too. Um, you know, Airbnb actually would have jurisdiction over this because of the depth of that beyond lighting. You could argue. I would argue <laughs> that it's considered signage, even though, even without copy. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, it needs to come back and get ARB approval. Um, and then when we've approved this kind of thing before, we approved um, wall artwork that was more it was more of a it was it was a mural, mm -hmm. and yeah, we gave like less facades, so. right. But, but what I was going with that was we, we we weren't really critiquing it. Our art is art, right? We weren't there to change what the artist was doing. It was just to be overall approval to make sure it did fit our parameters, what we decide those are, which would be like we just mm -hmm. want to oversee the lighting, make sure there's nothing offensive there, no messaging. Um, I don't know, and then yeah. understand the quality, make sure the quality is what we want it to be. I don't think Naya was opposed to doing that. Okay. Yeah. Sure. No. And Kevin, no. where does it fall within the bathroom? Because like, if it was, let's say, some sort of a box that you needed a panel, like an access panel to access from the from the bathroom set, like yeah, how it's does, through the bathroom. Right, but like, is it in the stall? Is it near the? There's sink? only there's is a single bathroom. There's two single bathrooms, like both ADA accessible. That's fine. So it's, it's just positioned away from. Yeah, that's I the think access. the toilet is here, and the sink is here, and the access panel is on this other wall over here. Right. Right here. Right. Yeah, I think your wet wall is. Right. The drywall right. wall. So, like, if I were to, if I were to a section through that I think the sink and the toilet are over here and this is open yes yeah I think so because you're gonna have to um, I mean obviously you, you know best but how, how does that in order to just change the display yeah no there'll be some like what semantics and right trying exactly. to figure that out figure yeah. out like Right. Squeezed through that. I, either yeah. making yeah. sure yeah. that the okay. it isn't yeah. for me. I guess I wouldn't want it as deep, mm -hmm. right? But it depends on what he plans on, because um, I'd want it closer to the window front, right? Like and not have the depth. Because once you start having that depth, then it's you feel like it it needs to um, be more three dimensional. Is there a wall built perpendicularly to the facade on the side of that? It it goes box? so. At the back wall, it actually steps over to the left, and that creates the width that we need for the bathroom, and then it continues deeper into the space. So it gets a little, it goes in that three feet, it. and then jogs out you some. You to, couldn't access it at 90 degrees from where that access panel is? No, it's a little bit too narrow. There's a column there that like, okay, yeah, made it too squeeze. tight. Yeah, we looked at that. We wanted to do that, yeah, but it just, it, it ended up being like one foot wide, right. you know, <clears> to fit through, and we yeah. didn't think that was practical. I'm going to wrap this up so we keep moving. Any other suggestions you want these guys to run with? Because how I'm going to leave this is, you guys go talk with Naya and come back with us with a presentation. And I'm going to lay out for you guys before you walk away here just some basic parameters that we all feel the board should be followed. So anything, any other creative ideas you want to throw at them before we give them parameters? Is that, anyone leaning towards one way or another? I really like Zim and Zoo. Zim and Zoo. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I like these, what you've shown. I, I think we're going in a lot of great directions here. Yeah. They're interesting ideas. Is the signage so, an administrative approval? The signage is good. Administrative, no, signage, I, I'll do a letter as long as you get um, a copy of that yeah. file PDF of the late sign. 
So I do no. have one question. Assuming, well, knowing that it's going to take another time to come back here, perhaps two, um, in the meantime, if we open, do we put film on the inside of the window? And if we do that, is it white? Is it reflective? Is it black? Does it matter? I'm open. I don't ideas open. How is it how is the, the wall gonna be finished? Is it just gonna be painted white? Yeah. On the inside? Yeah. Okay, well, I, just I mean it could just be empty I too. Just leave it but in. Yeah, I'd be I'd leave it empty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. If they want to put signage in there, they got to come back to us. Like we've yeah. done temporary yeah. signage, you've seen it across there. If they want to put something like installation coming soon, yeah. like, whatever, something like that, then that needs to come to us. But sure. if you leave a blank, that's it. Yeah, you know, okay. I, I think we are in agreement, though. The only thing I would caveat with is, is that I think we're all in agreement that it can't be obviously advertisement. But if it's something that is an actual piece of art, it would be nice, in my mind, to have, you know, by X, Y, and Z. And sure. Oh, Some sure. kind of an yeah. explanation. Especially if it's middle, like if it is Middle Eastern, like this right. person is involved in X, you know. Sure. Like a little information about the, the artist. Yeah. I mean, nothing yeah. major. Well, I think, I think we would just make that part of what we would propose. Right. Yeah. In the restaurant. Could be. Mm -hmm. Could be. Great. But if you're walking, oh, you're right. then you're walking by, you're walking by, you're walking by, going to the restaurant. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't you be curious to know what that is? Then you go to the restaurant. I did it the other day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Took right in. Or how would you guys feel about even just at the here? bottom having small, like a little pinpoint, uh, little vinyl, even on the windows or something of, mm. no, of, what it, it, of saying what yeah. it is? Because I think at it's night this is typical. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Just okay. again, super clean. The the build out you're. The interior of this is really well done. It's very clean. It's very modern. It's pretty minimal. So mm -hmm. I think it'll be, it'll be good. Or a nice big sculpture in there. That's really nice. nice too. That's it's great, really such great potential for a, a long landscape that's just so repetitive. Mm -hmm. So it could be a very nice break into that into your pedestrian walkthrough. Mm -hmm. So you have high potential for it. Okay. There's a couple things I jot down, not to speak for everyone, but just off the top of my head about parameters. You guys could correct me or not. Again, no copy, no lighting, unless it's approved by the board. It sounds like you'll know, do some sort of something there, but we need to go through what that lighting would be. Uh, materials should be, it should be something of a quality, not some, something high-end to match what we've expected in every other step of this process. Um, and also a permanent or defined timestamp on what the installation is. So it's permanent forever, or there's time right. that's rotated annually, or right. I don't know whatever that would be. Okay. Yeah, it's part of the I think less is more. Less is more manageable. Yes, exactly. we, on right. all levels, right. I think less is more. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Time stamp with the idea that they would have to come back each time, right? Sure. Yeah, I'll put that in there. That, that's well said. Rebecca. Okay. Expect it. Um, okay, that's great. So, favorite report on the actual signage, new PDF to Hervé, Kevin, yep. just for the records. And we'll see. If you want to run ideas by us, the board doesn't meet, but like this is a fun thing to look at. So, I'm sure if you said that through Hervé, we'd gladly pass it around and let the okay. board get some ideas if you want to brainstorm and get some off the cuff, off okay. the record sure. thoughts, if, if that's at all helpful. Okay, great. Yeah, you guys okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys going to be here for a little bit? Because I'll go take pictures of. You were uh, putting lighting on that city bank. Uh, hopefully not that long, but yeah, go for it. Try it to does take me. Oh, okay, yeah, text me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay, good stuff. Okay, I was you. like, I hope not. Right? Yeah. 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 I hope by the time you get to city bank, we are wrapped up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had that three. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Oh, they are? Yeah, they're just saying black guys tonight. Oh, okay, guys, let me move on quickly. Uh, for discussion, uh, we are not doing the large artwork at Heights Road. That's the large insulation wall at Seymour's. That's coming back. Patrick was here because of the weather. So he'll be back in March to show us their ideas for what that large sculpture wall is going to look like. Um, blade sign. Rebecca, this is big for you. Rebecca. Yes. This is big for you. So last time we've been talking about blade signs around how they all keep coming, they're too large. <coughs> and, we, and someone suggested in our last meeting, what does it take to change our blade sign regulation, right? Because we allow like, you know, eight square feet or nine square feet in our blade signs. Seven. So Hervé is going to do a quick run now for you guys of what this process takes. And if you guys are in favorable and you guys think our blade regulation should change, then I can initiate this process, hopefully with you guys' input. But 
we'll start this. So here we go. So there are, there are a few steps, and um, according to Jeremy, this is a three to six month process, just as, a, as an overview. Um, so the first part, obviously, you have to review, discuss potential change to your sign regulation, decide which size you think is appropriate. Once the wording and so stop right there. By the way, so number one, that would happen next meeting. If you guys are favorable to this, we can discuss it. Yeah, if you, do, if you initiate proposing. the process, we okay. can we can start that, and we have to kind of define some parameter: what is too big, what is too what okay. is the proper thing. Uh, the prop, the proposed wording and changes need to be put forth in a memo from the ARB. Description: How the proposal complies with the 2016 Town Plan of Conservation and Development. So. You're going to take a look back at that big document and say, okay, well, it, you know, it's still, it's still, it still works. Uh, be uploaded, and uh, there would be no application fee. <laughs> but, but since we are the, the, the RB is the applicant. Now, the copy of the proposal must be filed with the down, there in town clerk. There is transparency involved. Uh, everyone in town would be given an opportunity to speak about it. So uh, you, you file. I think I, I jumped ahead there. Uh, but it has to be filed with town clerk as an official thing. Then, uh, if the proposal affects the entire town, formal notification to neighbors. So that's a, um, um, a publication in a newspaper, because obviously you're not going to send a letter to the 19,000 people in Darien. So publication in a newspaper twice, uh, so that people are aware this is going on. Uh, then the state statute requires the Planning and Zoning Commission to have a public hearing on a, on a change or a zone change or a text change. Any change in, a, in the zoning regulation uh, requires the Planning and Zoning Commission to have a public hearing. So published twice, then public hearing. Hmm. Uh, and it's at least 35 days from the submittal of the complete application. So again, it's, uh, that's why it takes so long, is because you have to kind of anticipate each time. Um, and it, that means also a presentation. So someone or a group will be in front of the Planning and Zoning Commission to present what the changes are and why. I would like to be just me unless I can drag one of you guys in to be my uh, main wingman. I could bring a seven and a half foot square piece of okay. yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Your Amazon the professional, the professionalism will be oozing. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were to uh, try to file something super quickly, which may not work with the 35 days and all that, but uh, PZ application deadline March 16 for a hearing in late April, which to, to gives, gives you an idea of when, if you think realistically, you may want to try to aim at, you know, April, May, maybe May, June as a, as a, as a solid date to have time to discuss it. Uh, PNZ has 65 days from the close of the public hearing to make a decision on the matter. So if they want, they can ask you to come back. And then there's a, a, a timeline. If they don't make a decision, that's an important thing. Uh, it gets adopted by default. That's so bad. that's part of the state statute. Yeah, that's an interesting thing I just mm -hmm. learned in my, in my classes. But, um, but in its decision, commission must include an effective date would be two weeks after the decision, allowing staff to file the new regulation with town clerk, publish a legal notice in the paper, and update the regs on the web. So then it's like it turns back to the book, and then it, it, the book gets changed and published and all that. Harry, so that's only, what. Harry, the only thing I don't see in this is what if um, a, ta a sign already doesn't meet regulation? Does it fall? Um, it, is it grandfathered in, or what happens with that? Well. Yeah, I think typically an amendment takes in effect at a certain point, right. and from that point forward, everything has to work with that new regulation, Got it. but we don't do a look back. So if you were in permit process, even if it, the sign is not built, but no longer complying with the new regulation, the date of the application or the approval, of, at least most of the time, it's when the people file. We, that way, we just kind of cut it for everyone the same way. And if you changed a blade sign, let's just say, it would no, it's not like you're grandfathered in. Like if you said, like I, you know, the sign on this building was X, Y, and Z, I'm changing my branding, you know, I want it the same size. 
when depends when you apply for that size. If it's actually well, you're saying you're not grandfathered to that same size that you currently have. Oh, well, so that's that. That would be interesting. That's a very good and strong point. If you look at the, it's the same as the nonconformity. Right. So, if something has been accepted and is now non-conforming and re you replace it in kind with different graphics but the same size, you most likely would be able to continue with that same size. Okay. That would be the general status type logic. But if you're replacing... But if you're replacing and changing the material on which the sign mm -hmm. is posted... <laughs> yeah, <they are>. Different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is where it's always... Slippery. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Is something you want to pursue? Like we keep fighting blade sign sizes. We can continue with this and just do it, or we can do the process. So I, take, of this. I have a question. To get to number one, to propose these potential changes, um, to get there, would there be homework that we would have to do in order to have that discussion yeah. at the next meeting? And what would your expectation be? I see you guys come, if you guys are in for this, come with some preparation with suggestions, things you've seen, pictures you've seen, or some, uh, some some other requirements. Like right now, it's done on a square footage basis. Yeah. And we could just simply use that calculation, but shrink it down, keep it simple. Or if you guys have another proposal, you've seen another, you've done, you know, um, different science practices, you have different ways of calculating it. Make that, yeah. So it would take a little homework. You send to me, we put together, we sit down, we discuss it in the same situation at the end of next meeting, and I write down notes, we come up with a plan. And then I'll put down, a, and we'll do number two. I'll put together a proposal, I'll send it to you guys, or I'll present it at the April meeting. You guys sign off on it, and we run. Do you think we can get it done in one meeting? It's, I have no time not to. We have to. Let's be focused. Yeah. Let's get it done. I mean, the way that I looked at it, besides just, you know, you know, retail store signs, you know, companies that I've worked for, is take your favorite town, like historical town. Like mm -hmm. if someone takes Nantucket, if someone takes Charleston, if someone takes, you know, Back Bay, and, and try to call them and get their regulations for their signage, that's what I would do. That's nice. So we have a, a signage design group internally, and they mm -hmm. deal with towns all over the country. Right. And so they, the I'm going to try to get information from them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They work with historic commissions, and they work with exactly. federal realty a lot. So like, we brought you on for a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is I mean it, we're not good at filing things, but I, I can ask the guys who leave the studio and. and see what I can collect from them. But, but, if we, but you know, I, I think it's good for us to understand what's out there, not just what like Nantucket or mm -hmm. another right. historic town would do, because I think there are some communities, especially new communities that are designed currently, that are looking at signage in a forward in an innovative sure. way, that I think we should know what's going on. Yes. Whether, I, whether it fits for us or not. Can, mm -hmm. can I make a special request on this too? Can you also include whether or not they have um, lumen and lighting and photo oh, they, oh, yeah, plans they're for those things. Because oh, plans or regulations? Regulations. Because yes. Darian, just mm -hmm. not for, for, sign for ARB. And Greenwich does, I just had to file something with the Greenwich ARB for a Greenwich project I'm working on. And wow, was I surprised. Like, so no, 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 relative to what? Has to say, you have to Sign. show on the lighting, um, oh, on the lighting, on um, any lighting plans, like where the throw is of all the lights, at the Kelvin, mm -hmm. where all the lighting sits, yeah. and has to show that. We don't. I don't think we've seen that clear yeah. here, and that's like a requirement. It's not specific. Area. Well, we asked the question, yeah. right? And yeah, we sort did. of visually. As it was a like fascinating that. thing where you know we wanted a certain light and we couldn't find the data on it, so we just looked at a certain light mm -hmm. to have the data. Um, so okay, I'm so curious to see where we're. What, what else were we saying? Mm -hmm. Leslie, you're on an ARB board down in Florida. It'd be interesting if you could. Uh, if you have a chairman down there. You could ask if they've got some sort of. So it's interesting because now we're putting in a signage package. Oh, I there's no. Uh, now when I looked at ours, and I'm like, are you kidding me? These white signs are massive. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> massive. Yeah. So that's why I'm all for this. Yeah. All okay. for this. Okay. You sent some me some ideas before that like, that I haven't like collated and put together yet, but I don't know if there are any town specific. I think it was just like general idea of how to calculate it. And everybody, you might be bringing some specialty from your time. Um, <laughs> the Historic Preservation Commission. The only thought that I had about the blade sign was 
looking at the regulation that is in there is it, it just defines one size kind of fits all and as an architect I thought it would be interesting to see if there is some sort of proportionality mm -hmm. idea that would be because a blade sign may work on an alley at, at a certain size but if it's meant to be seen from across the parking lot you know what 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 works and what doesn't in, in a relationship to what it's supposed to do. Well, it's the wall sign. I the think wall it's a pedestrian. Sign. The yeah, then it becomes the wall sign. But yeah. then when does the blade sign become obsolete or, or too I, too big or not? I love blade signs are pedestrian oriented. Me too, and intimate. Maybe this is my lead, like maybe this is my legal like. That's, they're not intimate at seven square feet. That's for sure. Have we been reading this wrong? Because when they propose a blade sign, they show us one side of the blade sign and say, look, it's less than seven and a half square feet. Mm -hmm. We never look at both sides of the same one, same like the blade sign. So, it's so, it's so instead of being seven and a half on each front, should it really be three point seven five on each front? That's interesting. Is there a blade sign? Is fine. Well, so, what's the definition of a blade sign? Is it automatically one side or two sided? I thought it was automatically a two side sign. That was the point of the yeah. blade sign. Right, that but then it is limited in that square footage. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. saying, "Hey, we have seven and a half feet," but they're saying we have seven and a half feet on each side. Yeah. Ergo, being fourteen feet. But what if we're like, no, this is actually wrong. It should be seven and a half feet total. Yeah, that's, Which that's, actually, that's actually yeah. how it was in the historic district of Cambridge. And if you had a two-sided two sign, you were, you were dividing the, the maximum the potential. Do you know? Like but maybe, it was proportional. Maybe like, we've been misreading all of our regulations. This was in, like, or it was, like, miswritten. But we've interpreted it, interpreted it incorrectly. I mean, is that, could that have happened? Herbie, I don't who, know, that was before my time. <laughs> <laughs> who, who would we uh, speak to about that, Herbie? I know the consultants who wrote that is no longer obviously paid. Remember, do you know who we'd speak to? Maybe I'll start Did with Jeremy. Yeah. Right. That would save us a lot of time. If we could just that. Jesse? Well, DRI. DRI. Way back in the day. Yeah, but did they, write, did they write the regulations? I thought this I was part, a two. My part in when I was in the DRI. I thought this, the, the Blade one was a part of the 2016, the revised 2016, which a few yeah. of us sat in. I can't remember, you, you're definitely there. We mm -hmm. sat in and we, right, Dave? Yeah. yeah. And, we, and we went with the consult. We went through line by line. It was so overwhelming. That by, I think, remember this? By the time we got to this, we probably did, we were like, fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, whatever. Pass it. Pass it. Right, page is gone. And yeah. if you're, if we look at it from that perspective, right, we'd be maxed out at like 20, like a little less than 24 inches square, which is the appropriate size. Right, right. Yes, yes, yes. For yes. Like, yeah. You yes. know, yes. and like that's, I mean, this might be an easy fix. fix. Okay, that's great, brilliant. Can you look into some of those ideas like you were in the meantime? Yeah. Just, yes. just for I reference. Just like yeah. Yeah. And then so we we'll actually even designed signage regulations for communities that we've designed. Just pull the blade section. Oh, interesting. Uh, well, they, they, but they vary, right? Yeah. You know, it's. What about seaside in Florida? Oh. Well, they're very strict. Yeah, they're very strict. Mm -hmm. um, Isn't that Diwani Platters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This she, was yeah. Yeah. husband and wife. Nineteen eighty. What? Seriously? Nineteen eighty-eight, eighty-seven? Yes. No, earlier. 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 Eighty-eight. Yeah. 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 When it warms up, we can just take a field trip and walk down town right. and yeah. 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 tape measures out. That's great. Yeah. It's not right. It's a good, good idea. idea. Get a little cheese board and start walking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not by six. <laughs> no. I've got a funny, Julie sent me this picture, so I thought you guys would find this oh like really God. disturbing actually, quite honestly. Can you guys see that this? This is like, one. That looks like the, uh, 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 the highway. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It looks like yes. the gas station. Yeah. Um, I've got a second one for you guys too. Liz, if you send that to me to my email, I can put it on the screen up here. Oh, Wait, really? Is that, yeah. oh, you know what, let me text it to you. Or is, oh, no, no, text. no, 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 uh, email. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I can email it, Darian. Yeah. Okay, because so I've got two of them, um, you can two and the second one is even, <laughs> just as disturbing, it's even worse. <laughs> you really do look like the X-Box station on the highway. It does. Um, okay, let's see if this goes through. Is, is there anything to decide about this tonight? No, there's nothing to decide about tonight. Sorry, you, I know you want to go home. 
Mm. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's just more. Without saying it, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just more, yeah. You know, as, as I send this to you to pull up, Hervé, as we're walking out, let's wrap up. I'll keep wrapping let's up. Let's do it. the minutes. So the minutes, yeah, Hervé, you can, you can, I think I did send. Um, the minutes, yep. uh, do I have approval at all? Yes. 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 Any comments? Any changes? No. Second. Okay. All right, approves. Thank you for seconding, Leslie. Um, I'm going to bring up no other business, so I'm going to adjourn here at 9 my time. Yes, exactly. <laughs>